But what can I say? I got scammed. Shame on me, I guess. So, you know, I messaged this, this gentleman about the animals, um, and it seemed legit, but he got me at a really bad time, to be completely honest with you. I was kind of like the perfect scenario, really. You know, I wasn't paying attention. I was actually at a concert, well, going to a concert, and um, I was rushing, and it looked legit. Um, he sounded great and it was in Vermont and you know it was only gonna be like a three-hour ride to get the animals and it just all worked you know uh, I started to get some weird messages from the person um, you know about delivery fees and and stuff like that so I started to do some research it was a scam um, thankfully when he asked for half the deposit I didn't say yes to that. I, I, something kind of went off. I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna give you half the deposit, but I did did give him a couple hundred bucks, and I Venmoed him, and and I'm out. There's nothing I can do. Um, you know, I am gonna kind of chalk this up as, you know, a huge learning experience. Um, I do have a lead on a, a few other different animals um, that I gotta travel to get, so I'm waiting to hear back. Um, but this was. This was an expensive mess up. You know, I started doing the building project off the barn, which I'm still gonna finish because I, I really wanna get these animals. Um, but I got too excited, too worked up, um, and it was a lesson. So I'm gonna watch this video. I'm gonna watch the video that I just made that I dropped, um, what, yesterday, and kind of make it a learning learning lesson with my kids. That you don't know who you're talking to online. You really don't. And hopefully they learn from this as I'm gonna learn from it. We'll move on um, and, and be better next time. So it is what it is. Nothing I can do. Um, sorry, guys. But, um, you know, you're not going to see any new animals um, on Wednesday. You know, we um, we are getting the bull next week. So I'm going to take you on that road trip. Um, and we can all meet Mo together and bring him back um, and introduce him to the herd. Very excited about that. Um, but, uh you know, kind of lesson learned on this, huh? So, all right, well, so not getting the animals. I might as well tell you guys what animals I'm trying to get. And the animals that I thought I was getting uh, were miniature donkeys. That's right, fool. Never you know, miniature donkey is, you know, 36 inches and lower um, to be a miniature donkey. That's what uh, the requirements are. They're friendly. They're, you know, easy to have around. I think they'll be great addition to the tree farm. You know, my kids can kind of walk one around with the, you know, with a lead. And um, kids can pat them and feed them and do the whole deal. So that's my plan. I'm still looking, looking hard, actually. I, I've been talking to someone in Pennsylvania. And um, hopefully, you know, they get back to me and we can get, get that rolling. Um, but they're hard to come by. You know, come to find out, you know, miniature donkeys um, are a big um, kind of a, uh, um, what's the word? It's like easy to scam people because everyone wants them. So you throw out a really nice, you know, cute little picture of a miniature donkey. Um, they're wow. cute and people jump on them. And um, it's exactly what happened to me, right? I mean, it got me at a really bad time and I jumped on it. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what the surprise was going to be for Wednesday, which is obviously not going to happen. So sorry, guys. Thanks for hanging in and we'll uh, we'll keep you updated on it.